everybody was suffering and Jenny was like enjoying the lockdown. <laughs> so let's start with, um, you guys both got COVID, right? Yeah, we both had COVID. Yeah, we did, but we're fine. We recovered and we're, we're okay. Good, good. What was that like? When did you get it? Do you know how you got it? Uh, we, we got it in April. We tested a positive April 18th. Yeah, April, April. Uh, we went somewhere out and stayed in a hotel in Delhi. Uh, we we went some there for business. some uh, for, for some really to do, do something. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. But when we come back, uh, you can say third day I had symptoms, and uh, straight away I called the uh, like a guy who can test us, and I find positive. So the virus was stronger in my like in my body than Jerry. Mm. Yeah, we both tested positive same time, same yeah. day. Wow. Have you been vaccinated since? I know it's probably not as easy there. Oh, as, you, as you know, the India was uh, struggling yeah. through the vaccination. Yeah. And uh, as we both were uh, suffered and like uh, recovered from it, so they said like we, can, we are uh, good to go for five or six months. We don't need to get vaccination for five, six months. True, so since you had it. Yeah, so that's why we antibodies are already there in the body. So we are just waiting for that. Good, good. At least that. Um, you know, during the pandemic, it must have been a struggle for you because Jenny, don't you have to leave every six months and come back? How did that work for you guys? Yeah, so how that worked with the pandemic was the borders closed. And so I've been able to stay in India that way because they just keep giving extensions to um, all foreigners that were here once the, when the borders closed. Okay. And yeah. they just started extending everyone's visas. So that's that's a plus for me. It's been a plus for me. Everybody was suffering and Jenny was like enjoying the lockdown. <laughs> yeah, that is that is a plus. You didn't have to do that that whole hassle every six months. Um, yeah. So when when were you last home then? Uh, it's been a year and a half, or maybe a little more than a year and a half. Because the last time when she came here, that was the last time she'd been to. Yeah, it's been over a year and a half. Do you miss your family? How's that going for you? Uh, yeah, of course I miss them. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, there's um, video talk. We 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 talk on video and we talk we. Um, we talk on the phone and we text back and forth, video call. And, you know, of course we miss each other, yes, very much, but I have very understanding daughters and they know that I'm happy and they know that I'm fine. So they don't worry about me. I'm, of course they were worried about me during COVID. Mm -hmm. you know, that was a scary time for us, but we made it through. Luckily, we, we all made it through and we're all fine and okay and everyone's happy. So your daughters have always been pretty supportive of you guys. Are they still supportive? Yep. Yeah. They love Samit, yes. Yeah. How could you not? You guys are so fun together. I love it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is probably the longest that you guys have been in the same country, right? So how did, yeah. how did all yeah. this togetherness change your relationship? <laughs> <laughs> Well, he found out that Jenny knows how to yell. Yeah, I, I really have found out how Jenny, how, uh, she, how she yelled. And uh -huh. uh, I know that she, like, defend herself too sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I think the good thing about our, us is, like, if she get mad, then I, I get quiet. And if I get mad, then also I get quiet. <laughs> so things settle down. He's really good at calming me down because okay. normally I'll be mad for, like, days, hours, days. But with Samit, he just calms me down right away and everything is fine again, so. That's, you know, it's a relationship. Every day you learn something about your partner <laughs> and I'm just keep on learning and keep on making points. You so, learn that I'm the best. Make and notes. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm making notes. I love it. You know, Jenny, <laughs> Jenny um, who have you leaned on there besides Summit? Have you made friends? Have you made you know, a, a close knit group there. Yeah, we have really good friends. Actually, we have Rohit, uh, which is his friend. And of course I met Rohit when I first came back to India and we hit it off, great friends. And then from Rohit, I met his sister, Dipali, and her husband, Shantanu. 
and we're all really good friends. And Dipali, I just love her. Me and her are, are really good friends. So I'm very lucky to have her. Nice, nice, good. So we have to get into a little bit of Summit's family. Um, are your parents still struggling with the relationship right now? Uh, you can say that like uh, the last thing which you saw, mm -hmm. a big fight. And uh, now my mom's idea is just to move into the house. Uh, and <laughs> we are trying to fix this up. Let's see how gonna go. But you can say that till that time you have to wait. Okay. <laughs> it's a teaser for the show how it's gonna go. Totally, totally. Um, you know, Jenny, is we see in the preview for the season that you do get, you scream at one point, you throw something at the wall, you get angry. Is that the norm for you? We've never seen you in that light before. Sometimes. Uh, no. Sometimes. <laughs> um, as angry as you saw me there, no. Uh, that's never happened again. I have never. I haven't gotten that angry again. It's. That was out of frustration. That was just sheer frustration. I just was frustrated to the point, no return. And yeah. that's what happened. That's what you saw. I understand. You know, is, is marriage a deal breaker for you, Jenny? Is it marriage or you're going back home? Well, that's something that I think you'll have to stay tuned to the show and see in the season. Um, I don't think, I don't know if I can say right now, but I'm, I, you, I love him. I'm still here, obviously. So, why? Well, what you can say maybe is why is marriage important to you? What does it mean to you? Um, well, for one thing, it's it, it keeps me in India. I mean, visa. It's the visa thing. The visa. Once we get married, I'll be able to stay in India. My visa will turn into a different visa, and I won't have to do the every six months thing. Yeah, which is which is really hard, you know. So. Uh, it'll take care of that and then plus you know i'll have rights to things and it'll make me feel more i don't know i'll feel more confident and I'm, i'll be his wife i don't know i'll, I'll just feel better i guess about the whole thing i understand yeah and summit what is your outlook on marriage now we know that you've gone kind of back and forth in the past <laughs> actually the if you talk about marriage, that uh, I don't have a very good uh, experience with marriage in past. Uh, the fear is still there in my heart, in my mind somewhere. But I know uh, the person I'm living with uh, is nice. I hope everything will go fine. <laughs> I'm nice. <laughs> but still, still scared of this. Yeah, yeah. How, how does your brother, are you guys on good terms with your brother right now, Summit? Yeah, and my brother is doing good, like, uh, uh, as he also got married, like, almost a year, uh, I think. Mm -hmm. So, he's going good, uh, mm -hmm. looks more responsible uh, than before, before. Yeah, and he do, uh, like, we do chat sometimes, mm -hmm. but parents is the main thing. If he try to understand also, but then the parents is the thing, like, which we uh, need to accept. They need to accept our relationship. Yes. Is he, is he supportive of you guys right now? Uh, he can't do anything. Uh, if the uh, parents are not uh, agree with our relationship, then he can't support us. I see. So he has to go with whatever your parents say. Pretty yeah. much. Wow. That's that's got to be hard for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. You also had an arranged marriage we learned on last season and this season, it seems like the divorce is in process. Is it finalized yet? Didn't that show on second season? Yeah, I think it's already uh, okay. happened. I already divorced. Okay, so it's uh, final. Yeah, it's final. Final, good, good. Have you spoken to her at all? Has she reached out? No, actually uh, I didn't uh, spoke to her at all. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's good, like uh, we are happy, we are separate, and uh, we are out of a bad marriage. So what else do you want? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, this relationship, you might, you won't be able to have children. It, are you? Have you come around to that yet? Are you okay with that? Or have you thought about adopting? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't uh, like. No, children. Just uh, I don't think about children right now. 
Uh, till now, then we are happy together, and I hope that things will stay like that. Uh, adoption is something that maybe if I can uh, give somebody a good life, but till you can sit there right now, I just no thought about it. We have dogs. Dogs are good. Dogs are good. <laughs> we have a lot of them. Yeah. Jenny, would you ever be open to? you know, either having a surrogate or a an adoption or you completely don't, no, no children? No, I I don't think so. I, I don't think, no children. No. Um, the passport goes missing, we see. So how did the in-laws take that? Was that even legal? <laughs> uh, the last time when they came to uh, our apartment, sorry, first time when they came to our apartment when they figured out that Jenny and I living together. Uh, that time they took all my documents and my post passport and other you took my documents. even her documents also wow. in position. Uh, they were thinking that I might run away or, or something that like uh, then uh, the daughter won't get her like money whatever she deserves and all that. And in order to uh, keep me here, put some pressure on me, they uh, took all my documents in position. Uh, at the end, like, uh, uh, they were saying that they return, give the passport to someone, but I haven't got it yet. So it's missing somewhere. So you guys, you look amazing. Uh, people online have been talking about your new hair summit, your new looks. What did you guys change? Uh, actually, I keep on changing my hair. <laughs> uh, you can yeah, do. He does. Yeah. Yeah, people don't know from uh, before she knows me from before. So this time before Jenny, I grew my hair long, otherwise I was keeping it short. She's the one who came and forcing me, I want to see you again with the long hair. I don't so force you. Yeah, you are the one, you have to make your hair long. <laughs> yeah. He grows his hair long, he cuts it short, then he lets it grow again. And during the pandemic, it grew and his beard grew. And so he just kind of goes with his beard on, off, his hair long, short. But people keep thinking that we lost a bunch of weight, but it's not true. I haven't I did. lost any weight. I did. He's working, he works out now. So he's working <laughs> out and I'm as lazy as they get. So I'm the same. I have not lost weight, but for some reason people think I have. Really? I don't know. You truly do look different, both of you better. I mean, not that you look bad, but you look better. So go with it. <laughs> Maybe it's the Indian food. Okay. We are happy uh, now. We are happy. More that settled. We... I think we're more settled. Yeah, yeah. that's why we yeah. look. Yeah, yeah. It, it shows. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, you have been there now for a year and a half. What new cultural uh, hiccups have you come across? Like, what are what are some of the things that kind of you had to get used to living, really living there this time? Um, well, I don't know that I really had to get used to anything. I just, I kind of turned towards, um, going to a, I don't know, what did I do? To a, <laughs> were, were there any things that like shocked you? Like something people ate or things like that? We're in India, a very different country. Like, yeah, but I've been here for a long time, and this is my third time. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty used to it here. Yeah, I guess. You know, seeing monkeys right outside of my front of my house. Um, actually, yeah. nothing really shocks me here. I, I'm just kind of really used to used to being here. Yeah, you can say that she is here from last, like the third time visit. And a lot of people, at first I remember she always gets scared when we travel somewhere because of the traffic. Oh, of yeah, the yeah. way people drive, after seeing a lot of people together, honking, and everything was different for her. Yeah. And for us, it's normal life. Like, I, we feel like, why she is having issues? This is normal life. This is normal life. Yeah, for me, for me now, everything seems pretty normal. I, I, yeah, from what he's saying, like, from the beginning, the traffic, driving, just riding in the car and how scary it is. Like, it's really scary the way they drive. Yeah. And so, but now I'm so used to it that we're driving in a car and I'm just like looking at my phone. I don't pay attention at all anymore. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Everything, different food, people, the way people behave. Uh, normally just say hi, hello, and start talking. 
Uh, I noticed sometimes she's talking to my neighbors and though they don't even know English. <laughs> like they both uh, communicate well, with each other <laughs> and she's saying something to her and she's also replying then I go out and I see whom she's talking. I know it's funny. Well they talk to me too and I think we Yeah. And we do it and sign each other. Like we understand each other even though we don't. Yeah, yeah. That's his thing. <laughs> I go, I, you know, now I go to a temple and that helps me a lot. The temple, um, it's, it's Hare, Krishna. Hare Krishna and it helps me stay calm. Like it helps me, kind of puts me at peace. I've kind of learned how to, you know, meditate. Mm -hmm. um, I do some beats and I meditate with those. And so that's helped me a lot really to stay calm and not get so like freaked out and upset about everything. Yeah, you yeah. do not believe her. She don't believe in God, but now she is. God is the one who is helping oh, her yeah. and keeping her calm. And the astrology. Yeah, I love it. Um, if you do have a wedding, would you want it to be in a traditional Indian wedding? Um, I, I, I would like for that, mm -hmm. but it doesn't really matter to me. Um, just marrying Smith is, you know, the main thing. And that's, that's what will make me the most happy. It doesn't have to be a big traditional Indian wedding to make me happy. I'll be fine with whatever it is, you know? Yeah, yeah. Actually, I already uh, had a big fancy wedding before. Yeah. So, yeah, but she was the one, she was expecting a big marriage. She said, like, you already had one. Why we can't have, because this will be going to be the first time uh, having Indian wedding. But because of the pandemic, we have to limit the uh, everything yeah every, every yeah. yeah the pandemic really messed up a lot of things it did. a lot of it, it did it did did it push back any plans that you guys would have to ha possibly have a wedding uh, <laughs> uh, well a ring ceremony it pushed that back mm -hmm. and the ring ceremony did happen you saw it on the second season but yeah. you know yeah we are still you can see that that come according to the show and they've written mm -hmm. still uh, struggling and try to convince the parents they, I want them to be a part of this celebration if anything happened uh, like that mm -hmm. uh, so we're still trying and we are hoping that everything go and ends well okay so when it comes to um, you know us getting married or wedding plans or anything like that that's something that you'll have to tune into the season three and find out yeah, 90 days the other way. Season yes, 90 three. days the other way, season three. You know, if you do have this wedding, do you want your parents there, Summit? Obviously, yeah, I would love that. Like if, uh, yeah, definitely, for sure, no doubt. Yeah. Do you think there's ever a day that your parents might come around and, and attend a wedding with you and Jenny? I, I'm, I'm keeping trying, I'm still trying. Keep but, praying. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. When is, when is the last time you saw them? I keep like a uh, couple of months ago. Where do you guys see yourselves in five years from now? Where do we see ourselves? Still sitting in the same spot in this bed. <laughs> but with yeah. wedding rings on? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean... Actually, that's hopefully. the plan. Like, hopefully that's the plan. Like, uh, as we are trying to get married since 2013, uh, till now we haven't married yet, but still you can say that plan is the same uh, and the efforts will gonna be the same, and uh, we are hoping that it sends well. Yeah. Stay tuned, night with the fiance, the other <laughs> season three. <laughs> I love it.